On March 23, 2022, the biggest crypto hack in history happened, and almost no one noticed. A popular play-to-earn game, Axie Infinity, was helping thousands in countries like the Philippines and Venezuela earn a living during hard times. But behind its colorful creatures and cute animations was a massive vulnerability. And North Korea found it. This wasn't some teenage hacker in a basement. It was Lazarus Group, a government-backed cybercrime syndicate tied to North Korea's military intelligence. They infiltrated a developer's computer with a fake job offer, took over the game's blockchain infrastructure, and vanished with $625 million in ETH and USDC in a matter of clicks. This is untold and unsolved stories, where we expose the world's most daring digital crimes. And today, we uncover how Lazarus pulled off this audacious cyber heist and why it was just the beginning. Stay with us. This story will make you question every link, every bridge, and every job offer you've ever clicked. The target was Sky Mavis, the creators of Axie Infinity. Their game was booming, especially in Southeast Asia and Latin America. But the system powering their in-game economy relied on a fragile structure, the Ronin Bridge. The bridge allowed users to move assets between the Ronin blockchain and Ethereum. But only nine validator nodes secured this bridge, and five were enough to approve any transaction. Enter the Lazarus Group. They crafted a fake job post on LinkedIn, targeting a Sky Mavis engineer. The engineer downloaded what looked like a routine PDF, but hidden inside was malware. It gave Lazarus access to the developer system and eventually to one of the validator nodes. But they needed five. And due to an outdated agreement, Sky Mavis still had access to a validator node operated by the Axie DAO, one they shouldn't have controlled anymore. That was all Lazarus needed. On March 23, 2022, with five nodes under their control, Lazarus authorized two transactions, 173,600 ETH and 25.5 million USDC, totaling more than $625 million. There was no alarm, no warning. It wasn't until March 29th, six days later, that Sky Mavis realized something was wrong. A user tried to withdraw 5,000 ETH from the bridge and couldn't. By then, the crypto was gone. Lazarus moved quickly to cover their tracks. They used Tornado Cash, a decentralized crypto mixer, to break the funds into smaller chunks and obscure their origin. The ETH was moved through countless wallets, some of which attempted withdrawals on exchanges like Binance and Huobi using fake identities and KYC documents. Some funds were later swapped into Bitcoin and Tron, making them even harder to trace. It was a masterclass in blockchain laundering, digital smoke, and mirrors. By January 2023, the FBI had managed to trace and recover about $60 million, but most of the crypto was already gone, lost in a maze of wallets and cross-chain swaps. On April 14, 2022, the U.S. Treasury Department officially linked the Ronin wallet used in the hack to the Lazarus Group and added it to its sanctions list. For many in the crypto world, this was a wake-up call. Lazarus wasn't just targeting exchanges, they were now going after the infrastructure itself. But this wasn't their first rodeo. Lazarus had already pulled off. The Sony Pictures hack, 2014. The WannaCry ransomware attack, 2017 and prior thefts from KuCoin, Liquid, and Ubit. The difference this time? Scale, boldness, and global impact. North Korea is isolated, sanctioned, cut off from the global financial system. But crypto doesn't care about borders or politics. That's why the Lazarus Group, operated by the Reconnaissance General Bureau, North Korea's intelligence agency, has become the regime's secret cash cow. They steal crypto to fund the state, to build missiles, to survive sanctions. This isn't just cybercrime, it's digital warfare. Sky Mavis came under fire for weak security and excessive centralization. The Ronin Bridge had only nine validator nodes, far fewer than a system handling billions should have. In response, they raised $150 million to reimburse users, led by Binance paused the bridge, rebuilt the validator network with more nodes, 
and promised transparency going forward. The bridge eventually reopened, but trust was harder to restore. Axie Infinity never fully recovered, and the Lazarus group, still active, still evolving, still hunting. This attack wasn't just about money, it was a lesson. Here's what it teaches us. Don't trust job offers from unknown sources. Never download unsolicited PDFs or files from LinkedIn or email. Use cold wallets for major holdings. Stay away from centralized bridges unless you absolutely trust them. Revoke smart contract approvals regularly. Crypto is freedom, but only if you protect yourself. The Lazarus Group pulled off the most audacious digital heist the crypto world has ever seen and walked away without a trace. It started with a fake job post and ended with $625 million gone. If you found this story as unbelievable as we did, hit the like button, subscribe to Untold and Unsolved Stories, and turn on notifications because we're uncovering more dark corners of the digital world in our next episode. Until then, stay smart, stay safe.